put some kind of recommendation together that advises family members to get tested as frequently as they can, but don't put in place these strict and stringent regulations that can't be met when the supplies are not yet available. New at six families with loved ones in nursing homes vent frustration with what they're seeing unfolding tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Rendon and I'm Greg Lee. The families worry they are being kept away from their loved ones while health care workers who are infected are being allowed to work. KTVU investigative reporter Brooke Starose joins us from the newsroom with a breakdown of this dilemma balancing risk and critical worker shortages. Brooks. Well, in a single week, there have been about 6,000 new infections among healthcare workers in California nursing homes. But now the state is allowing them to keep working if they test positive and are asymptomatic. All while new visitor policies has family members left in limbo or simply locked out of facilities. It's scary when you can't see your loved one who's completely vulnerable. Andrea Dubrow's mother Gail has Alzheimer's and lives at this Danville nursing home. But routine visits are restricted now with new rules. Must be vaccinated, boosted, and show proof of a recent negative test if you can get one. Don't blame the families. I don't think we're the ones bringing COVID into the facility. Um, don't keep us out. Data shows right now more than 10,000 nursing home workers are infected statewide. Roughly 800 new cases popping up every day. The state is now allowing infected asymptomatic workers to keep coming in. We need to make sure we don't have staffing shortages. Governor Newsom is also requiring booster shots. While 95% of nursing home workers are vaccinated, only 39% have reported getting a booster. The California the California Association of Health Facilities says it comes down to access. So the facilities don't have the ability to uh, order vaccines for their staff. They can do it for their residents. Obviously, that's their patients. Without logistical help, many say caregivers won't make the governor's February 1st deadline. I think there's going to be massive noncompliance with the booster mandate. I, I guarantee it. Attorney Tony Chickatel has been concerned with the state's enforcement of vaccinations. His group, California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform, says there are lax requirements or little verification of those requesting a medical or religious exemption. The state's just giving out these exemptions like candy. Anybody who wants one can get one. Anybody who wants to claim one can have one. Um, it's sort of the wild, wild west in terms of the vaccine mandate. We found more than 160 California nursing homes have less than 90% of workers vaccinated. Three are in the Bay Area, Valley House Rehabilitation Center in Santa Clara, Richmond Post Acute Care, and Medical Hill Healthcare Center in Oakland. We have causes for concern. Chickatel found facilities with extremely low vaccination rates, filing five complaints with the state begging for accountability. But it comes at a time when nursing home staff is critical. I think we want to be supportive of all of our workers. We need every single person we can get vaccinated or not, sadly, um, just because we don't have enough people. I would like to see everybody vaccinated. For families, it's worrisome not knowing what's going on inside and struggling to see a loved one. It's super frustrating. It's scary. It's painful. It's, you, you know, you feel like there's nothing you can do. We have reached out to all of the Bay Area nursing homes with low vaccination rates. At this point, we've heard nothing back, but the California Department of Public Health says it continues efforts to encourage vaccinations and boosters and ensure they're easily accessible and available. In the newsroom, I'm Brooks DeRose, KTVU Fox 2 News. Brooks, thank you.